A, what are we in a bog? <laughs> Unhinged uh, little elements you add to this. Very finish. frothy. Frothy a, ocean water. It's a frothy beach. If you're watching the video. If you're just listening to the audio, we're sitting in front of a frothy ocean. With a heart in it. Yeah. Heart, heart, heart on. With a T. I just had a wave of panic that came out of nowhere. I don't know what happened. What happened? What? I don't know, man. What's wrong? I don't know. Although I did, after last week's episode, if you if You're going to have to turn know, it down because... <laughs> Is that driving we need you like crazy? a f- no. We need like a fourth track that it could possibly be edited down, up or down, and, and take it out completely. Yeah, yeah, no, I <laughs> There's no way to regulate it. Well, that's why we need to call the regulators. Yeah, Mount it's up. time for the percolator. <laughs> no, it's regulators. No, no, but then, the, but you got to bring in a percolator after that. That's true. Like, <laughs> we have regulator and we have a percolator. Is there another rhymer? What is the what is a percolator exactly? Uh, it's a coffee percolator. No, it's not. It's not? Yes, it is. The song, It's Time for the Percolator? Yeah, there's a dance move that... In- <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, that- it's like a rap song about coffee? No, it's the dance move that's based off of the coffee hopping up and down in a percolator. <laughs> you don't think so? There's a white stain on your shirt. No, there's not. I Uh-oh. see it. Come, oh, ye face. Fuck off. There's no white stain on my shirt. What the fuck, dude? Is that the cum shirt? Yeah. Where was. was the stain? I don't remember now. That was so long ago. It was like a week ago. Yeah. You expect me to keep that information in my head? You could go. It wasn't that long ago, but I don't remember. It wasn't that. Oh, fine. Jesus Christ. How specific is that? All right. If you didn't see last week's episode, it ended. I started the episode saying I was going to become a new man, a better man. Yeah. I ended the episode. Better man. Remember that Pearl Jam song? I do. We just me. played that for you for two hours, and then you became a better man. No, I didn't, because I started the episode t- saying I was going to turn a new leaf over. I ended Did the episode. Did you turn a new leaf over? <laughs> you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> I started the episode saying I was going to turn a new leaf over, become a respectable man. And you did. It. No, it, yeah. the episode ended with you guys using clothespins on my nipples and seeing how far apart you could pull them, and then I twerked on top of the chair. Yes. Okay? Maybe that's the man you were supposed to become, the guy who gets his n- n- nipples used in a tug of war. When I left the house, I told my wife, <laughs> I'm not going to take off my pants today, and she said, good, I'm proud of you. Ah, I'm not going to take off my pants <laughs> in the office today. And then when I got home, she said, you took off your pants, what happened? <laughs> She, she watches. She's she a did. secret I, live chat. I member. sent her the link. Why doesn't she, she comment? Was, because she's not. She's working, dude. Why didn't she, she say hi, Andy? It's me. She's just listening in the background. You know. Did she like the episode? But she's watching. Yes, she likes the episode. She's watching. What did she say about? She was the disappointed. Nips? She, was she was very disappointed that you that you allowed yourself to have your nipples she said i thought you said you weren't going to do that stuff anymore that you turned over a like does she, does she not want you to or she just wants you to meet your goal she wants me to meet my goal okay so she doesn't care if you do or not yeah but she cares that you care yeah she cares that i care. so if you yeah. left the house and you go i'm gonna get my nipples pinched today i'm gonna pull down my pants and then she <laughs> saw it she'd be like you did a good job <laughs> good work today <laughs> That's a crazy thing to say. what if she says <laughs> What kind of grown man? Well, I'm just saying, would she be happy? Hey, Tammy, before I leave, I want you to know it's my goal today. I'm going to get my nipples Would pinched. she come home and get, would she give you a big hug and a kiss and go, you accomplished your goals. Congratulations. What if she you says, <laughs> you dirty fuck. What if she says, I I think you should change your mind because I, I really enjoyed what I saw. She it th- laughs really hard when I take my pants off, See? but she is immediately <laughs> over it. Like she laughs as hard <laughs> as she's ever laughed for about 30 seconds. And then she's like. What the fuck? And Are then you it, still doing but, yeah, this? Yeah, it goes on for 10 minutes. Yeah, she so can't stand it. Is there that. a second wave of laughter that finally hits? Because, yeah. you know, you're like, you're beating this When I was standing up on the horse. chair in my underwear telling you you needed to see a doctor because you're crazy, <laughs> that's where it hit her again. <laughs> because it's so unhinged <laughs> seems for like, me to be giving speeches about other people's <laughs> mental health while I was standing in my underwear. It seems like the pants thing is what got her. But what if, I, I, if my wife were watching, it would definitely be the nipple thing. That would, that's new. It's new. That's a new thing that we've added to the to the repertoire. That is a new leaf. <laughs> she. So did you tell new clothes? Did you guys tell your uh, girlfriends and wives that you pinched my nipples in this show? No. She doesn't really ask for a recap of the show. She never asks what happens on the show. Don't ask. She goes, how was the show? I was like, you guys are segmenting too much of your lives away. You're not sharing it. No, what do you mean? Better off unspoken. I feel like you do believe that for real. (laughs) I feel like you do really believe that. 
<laughs> it just never comes up organically. <laughs> Am I making a huge fucking mistake telling her all the crazy shit we do on well, here? Yeah, I wouldn't watch her the link. So what did she say about the nipple pinching? That's I, to me the pants pulling down is. You she know, said, that's oh, standard. Oh, I said, oh, Andrew. I write uh, <laughs> I write a long-form letter to Aaron's wife to talk about the show. Oh. There's no way in hell he would let her read some fucking crazy <laughs> bullshit letter that you sent to I her. don't write my name on the envelope. That's even worse! I send it as a water bill. Okay. She actually really appreciates it. So. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't, you're playing a game. His wife CC'd on all emails that are dr- and on the texts that, that would we send. Unbelievable. We're a group text with Aaron and his wife saw that she's pl- she's playing aaron he doesn't text yeah. us at all is that true yeah i sent a link to your mom don't do it <laughs> yeah how would that be possible don't do it she, she would, would be it. proud she should turn it off immediately Dude, she's turned out o- she's turned over a new leaf no she has not not in regards to potty talk <laughs> she turned over a new queef <laughs> now she'll love it <laughs> listen and she's back so she you you're skirting the issue here what did she say about this nipple thing she said oh andrew really disappointed <laughs> Whoa. and then walked away and shut the door <laughs> no but she went back to work instead but she you, goes by the way i hadn't changed I, I spent all morning getting the cum states out of your tuxedo shirt <laughs> <laughs> what is my, my life sounds so much crazier through your mouth <laughs> she say here it is here's your cum free tuxedo <laughs> shirt because there's just a hint of condescension in there <laughs> <laughs> that you just can't get anywhere else so she wasn't mad but disappointed uh, i think though she was jealous because she she's the nip torturer yeah i don't think she was jealous at all i think so about you guys going oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> by the way it made for great audio just like oh ah oh jesus christ <laughs> well i apologize for that too <laughs> i'm sorry guys what, what if they watch the live stream is just none of that happened <laughs> just all but it's heavy it's all audio know, honestly i would trickery. walk to the hospital i wouldn't even drive i would walk to the nearest hospital what did she say to you today what what did she have any goals for yeah you she to- said don't pull down your pants today so what if you take your top off uh, she doesn't want me to do that either. <laughs> she knows i don't want to do that so she'd be really disappointed if i did it what if you took off your underwear while your pants were still on i could do i might be and able then, to do that so could you do that and and co- it's like a mr bean episode and cover the camera with them <laughs> aaron would that be allowed Aaron, would you wear... I'm not going to put my undies <laughs> on his camera. Why not? Would you, Aaron, would you wear... What do you mean, why not? <laughs> would you wear DeWitt's underwear on your head? Say no. For $100. Say no. For $100. No. For Just five tell seconds. No. Enough of this. No. If we get his undies you made into a lampshade... Would you light your house with it? No. <laughs> put it on your head like a party what? animal. <laughs> hey, you should save your old underwear. Then we should have them made into... A quilt, a quilt. Yeah, a quilt that we can oh, sell. That'd it. be the most busted, disgusting looking <laughs> quilt. Real saggy. It's, uh, it's just it's got, bu- it's got bubbles in it where it's just. <laughs> It just there's lumps all. It looked like a pair. The parachutes they get out at gym. Yeah. In the 80s. You imagine? Where did they get those parachutes? By the way, fucking uh, uh, the, uh, the, the war ar- machine that drives our country. The dude. army. Yeah, well, dude, the army. army sur- I never walked in an army surplus. R- store R- rainbow, <laughs> rainbow parachute. An old parachute <laughs> later. Dude, around. we have so much old shit from wars. We're constantly. In. I know, but it also like how did it get to the school? But they were oh all my like, god! They just all... like we have eight hundred thousand of these. I extra. know, but we we have tanks laying around. We don't have any in the back of the. School. Ours I've were been all, saying for years we should get a tank in a school. I were, would love it. Yours weren't rainbow. Co- ours were just like rainbow. They were like novelty. No, ours were real. Were real parachute. Parachute. I don't think they make parachute. novelty parachutes. <laughs> And they're like are, just like the real thing but it's a novel what kind of school did you go to Dana? <laughs> I, I went to a gifted school in tennessee it's something you went to a gift shop school <laughs> oh because the, of the rainbow colors because the, the novelty oh, that's i'll true. show you i'll show you what i'm talking about ours, ours, were, was, a real ours was a real honest to god but parachute. why did they have the parachute it was used for one thing everybody like shakes it up and then you tuck it you climb in and you tuck it in until it falls on top of you yeah but that was it. That was, well, how was that these, these become guys. like gym protocol? We, we did not use that one. No, we had a real parachute. You guys went to military school. Are you younger school. than us? Took I'm, up 12 years old. I'm 12 years old. I think you're the youngest, You're a big Andrew. boy. 
You're a big boy. Oh, big boy. Shake that parachute. <laughs> yeah, we had an old, uh, it looked like a cream colored parachute. Ours had blood on it and bullet holes. This Did was from yours? Vietnam. Uh, ours was, I think, from World War II. Ours still had a guy, a dead skeleton attached to it. And you guys were haunted by it. Speaking of haunting, I've got a haunting story to talk about in a minute. Darren, did you have the parachute in elementary school? Yeah, of course, yeah. I don't, how did this become part of the curriculum? Because it's rules. No, I understand that. But I want to know how somebody sat down and go, you know what we need to add to gym class? We do a parachute. Get it going, inflate it with air, that everybody sits underneath it and waits for it to collapse. So up. an executive that's, it, that's on hinge. That's like beach cop. An, an executive at Raytheon was like, We've got eighty thousand leftover parachutes. Some of them rainbow. If we <laughs> none of them <laughs> <laughs> just trying to cheer himself up. That was a real parachute. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, some of them are just novelty ones. I, I've never seen someone more self-conscious about an elementary school parachute before. That was like the guy that's Private Joker from Full Metal Jacket. He <laughs> yeah, does his parachute like, God damn it, how'd you get that? Well, Everyone I, can see you. Why, son of a why would they make novelty parachutes? They're like, it looks just like a parachute, but you can't jump out of anything with you it. You can only use it for What if some guy antics. goes, he pulls it and he sees the rainbow colors, he goes... Goddamn novelty parachute. You know how textbooks, how they, they're all crooked. The people, like their insider connections to the yeah. government and all this other bullshit. So somebody goes, hey, we need to get rid of these and parachutes. We, and I can write it off for this huge thing. And we'll do it. We'll do this awesome thing where we They had to it, come up with a thing to do. Yeah, we'll make it. You, it's a giant dome kids could just hide under for about one second. <laughs> yeah, 30 <laughs> seconds before it clapped on top of them. By the way, wouldn't, I don't think they do Also, by the way, I loved it. It was it was unbelievable. <laughs> ADR and Bruce Comanche, rainbows. Yeah, they, they get it. Might have been younger. They may have been in my class. Are you a 90s kid or an 80s buffoon? A. Earl Skakel had a uh, you know, parachute from the, <laughs> from the Middle Ages. French and Indian War. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, mine was made out of real pig skin. And it was signed by George Washington. Ugh. <laughs> uh. One of the Wright brothers was my PE teacher. Oh, you guys played with parachutes? We played with uh, stacks of money. <laughs> we had uh, wax wings. <laughs> we had wax wings and servants. <laughs> Where do they keep? They just throw the parachute into the, like the ballroom. We just no, have they have our, a box. We just have our butlers lift us up and down. <laughs> we had a box, and you, they go, "Everyone, go get the box." And we're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck yeah!" This, we had the same experience. But you're the youngest of us. Well, I guess because I grew up in the South, it was all backwards for you. You probably got his leftover <laughs> parachute. Yours was. Uh, they sent him down an old slave parachute. Yeah, it was from a plantation. They should have put... They, 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 was it written on there? Like, pl plantation? Yes. Yeah, so get back to work. <laughs> they they should have put the lightest kid on there, and then you throw him they up into the air. That. They, they did, did do that. They did, did you do that? He has to do the wave thing, and yeah. you stand in the middle. You, you, in the you middle. wouldn't Did get you not air. get in the middle on yours? No. Yeah, that's because you had this shitty rainbow one. Yeah, dude. it wasn't real. Ours was a World War II one. The guy would talk about it. Coach... I don't want to say his name. Coach E would do it. Why? You I think he's still alive? He's from World War II? No, no. But he was so funny, dude. He would, it, I guess he didn't made the same jokes every year, but he would say, oh, y'all are all running around like chickens with your heads cut off. And I've never heard the phrase before. And so I he fucking, wasn't that funny, but he, it's just, it was new to you. I fucking would lose my fucking he's like, shit. I talk about every chicken, time cut off. he said it, I'd lose my shit. And he's like, what's wrong shit. with this kid? <laughs> <laughs> and I was the only one laughing because they heard, had like, I transferred there in second grade. They'd had three. What did he tell you? Look at this retard. <laughs> was he jacked? <laughs> That's what he said. I've never heard it. That's That's what he said. <laughs> was he jacked? Uh, no, he wasn't jacked. But he could climb the rope all the way to the top and ring the bell. Naked. Nope. Did he slide down and his dingus was all hard when he got down? <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Oh, it feels so good. I couldn't climb the rope. No, to no one's surprise. Why? I'm too fat. I couldn't do a pull up until 2013. <laughs> did you email him? Yeah, I did. Finally got it, bro. <laughs> I want to take that rope on. If you still got it. it. Do you remember those pegs they had? Oh, yeah, I could do that. I could do the pegs. Yeah, you can't do the pegs if you can't do a pull up. Couldn't do the pull up, dude. Could not oh, do so it. You can't do a pull up, but you're telling me you could pull yourself up with one arm. I could on do a peg. four pegs. I could not do one. No, I'm pull not up. in the butt. We're talking about the things with you. Put uh, your yeah, hands. I could do four of them. He dude. goes, look, coach, I got four <laughs> pegs in my ass. <laughs> I just, for whatever reason, I couldn't do the pull-up. There's no way. Out. How could you possibly do pegs? Couldn't do it. Could not do it. How did you do the pegs then? Just like he, this. He had a ladder. 
And you could pull yourself up with one arm. Yeah, but I couldn't do the pull up at all. Why didn't you just put the pegs onto the pull up bar and then? I couldn't pull do the pegs up. to the top. I could only do them to four. Yeah, but four is pretty fucking good. Elementary school? I couldn't and do no pull ups. That's nope. your zero. That's never, your, that's never. Your jazz do. dancing background. Maybe it was mental. He told me it was mental. He said you're you're mental. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the nurse's office. I was reading Joan of Arc at the time, he was, and he did say, "Be like Joan of Arc. You can do it, Andy." I was reading, and that, people did not like that. They were like, fun. "Boo, yeah, like, pussy, that's a girl." You're the, that's- <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> did you ever read the sequel, Joan of Arcadia? Well, I, I checked it out because I thought it was John of Arc. I didn't realize it was about and the whole girl. time. You're like, "What's this dick getting released?" <laughs> Yeah. All right. So what happened with your daughter? You said there was a scary situation. Yeah. So uh, she found out about Bloody Mary through some of her friends. Oh, they've been drinking them? (laughs) What are they, alcoholics? Love it. So she's been making them secretly. (laughs) She's been making Bloody Mary under the bleachers (laughs) at recess. How old is she? Eight? Nine? Yeah, she's uh, almost nine. Okay. So that's when kids get into Bloody Mary. Her bre- best friend told her about Bloody Mary, and then at school the next day, she was wasted. No, a kid went missing. What? And they were like, "For oh, real? No. It was well, like an Amber Alert situation?" No, I mean, the administrators were looking for the kid, couldn't find hey it. Guys, turns out, happy spooky season. <laughs> <laughs> Is that her friend? <laughs> yeah. It turned out that the kid was just taking a dump and taking. I, I was gonna say. Where what stall was this kid? Exactly, in? that is what happened. Were they kicking in all the stalls? Now he's going to be humiliated for the <laughs> rest of his life. A lot of people said uh, Bloody Mary got this girl that went missing. They I thought like, it was a boy. It was a girl that got missing. So wait, how long was the girl gone for that they sent out a search party? Thirty minutes. So she left class. Yeah, she left class. And then they're like, "Holy shit!" Hasn't been, she's taken a huge dump? They don't know it. But yeah, they yeah. knew she left class. Yeah, they knew she left class. Why? W- and she went left class to go to the bathroom. Yeah, she did. What's the problem? Yeah. They didn't check the bathrooms, I guess. What about just and so they're That's like, the oh first place God. you would check. I don't know what to do with school stuff, man. It seems like that kind of stuff happens a lot. They're like, it's you know? duty Mary. Duty Mary. But the kids did say, that would be good. what if there was a ghost in the mirror and it pulled her into the mirror world? What if there was a man in the mirror, Michael oh. Jackson? And it, like, what so if it's thought, diarrhea Harry? They thought that <laughs> it was Bloody Mary. Pulled and, her through the mirror and then the school actually goes... It looks like we have another case of Bloody Mary well, the pulling next a child day, through the mirror. You're like, no, it's Candyman. <laughs> the next day, they took all the mirrors out of the girls' bathroom. No. Yeah, they what? did. Shut up. Is this for real? Yes, this is for real. Why? Are you Why? But they didn't take the they didn't take the mirrors out of the bathroom because of Bloody Mary. <laughs> oh, you fucking, you're just like my kid. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. The way you're telling the story, <laughs> dude. I went out with schools today. They're like, uh oh, kids are scared of mirrors. We got to get rid of them. They took them out for some other reason. I think there's a TikTok break a mirror challenge or something. They're trying to get a hair. <laughs> By the way, very similar to the Bloody Mary. They're like, there's a there's a TikTok book cha- book ripping challenge. We better get rid of all the books in school. Dude, like, is that, really- this is their answer to that? There's there a TikTok a- challenge for fucking breaking mirrors. Yeah, in there, the bathroom. There was a steal a stink uh, sink from your school as well. And uh, oh well, we used to do uh, the Ryan O'Neill break all the piping on the sinks of the bathroom (laughs) challenge. I used to do the take the urinal cakes out of the urinal, throw them at you, throw them at people as they came in the fucking bathroom. But the joke's on you. You gotta touch them. Yeah, but I was like, it was clean. That's like being like, I'm gonna take the duty out of the toilet. Really get a big surprise. (laughs) You should have brought a a hockey stick in instead of your hand. That's so fucking gross. I would do it so much, dude. I'd throw them on the floor. They'd smash everywhere. Throw them at the wall. If there's any, uh, I'm Ryan's uh, custodial engineer. He hates guys like you. Dude, the principal had to come talk to our class about it. Yeah, because you're yeah, but here's the man. Here's the problem. The joke is on you. Yeah, I would get chemical burns you're, on my hand. And you're by touching the, way. the urinal. That's okay? what the principal said. You think you're pulling a fast one? The joke's on you. Dude, you know the janitor's like, I love cleaning these up because I know that fucking kid that reached his hand to this dirty urinal. He was probably, he was probably putting shitting on him, putting them in there for you. you I would have noticed if he was shitting in a urinal. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm saying he did it before. You got to break the pipes. That's the easiest. There's nothing. To- I didn't break the pipes. I just threw the urinal cakes. I know, but the guy. If I were a janitor, I'd be like, please let this keep going on. Because this fucking kid is reaching his hand a pisser. Did, did you ever try, first try it because it had the word cake in it? No, I did not try to eat it. <laughs> did you ever try it because it had urinal in it? I don't know what compelled me to reach my hand into a urinal, pull it out, and throw it on the ground. Did you wash your hand afterwards or no? I'm sure I did. 
how long, right? Immediately after. Would you go back? I am still concerned that I've got pissed from elementary school on my. You go back to class with a chemically burned hand. Like, who could it be? Who could it be? Who could it be now? The one kid in class who's bad all the time. The guy who has urinal cake dust all over his shirt. (laughs) (laughs) Did you ever put him in your pocket? Uh, No, but it did. We finally got found out when I was throwing them from the bathroom down the hallway. So you had to leave the bathroom. I would open the door of the bathroom and whip them through the <laughs> kids coming to that the bathroom. That you got cocky. I did get cocky. But it, <laughs> it was so fun, dude. It then was you the br- funnest. You brought an air hockey uh, machine in there. The you were playing it, air hockey The way them. it exploded, because it was like some kind of soap that like would skid all over everything. But did you? do you ever <laughs> so once like a year go, everywhere. I'm going to allow myself to go somewhere and take a urinal cake out of a urinal. I think about it every time I see a urinal cake, honestly. You, you want to go back so to your gross. old ways. It was so fun. It's it was calling you. I got I had two solid weeks of no one catching me, no one telling on This me. is your new leaf, going back to your old leaf. Yeah. What the things that made you happy? Stick your hand in piss-covered urinals. <laughs> this is really You have a history of like basically dumpster diving for everything. <laughs> okay. What do I do for fun? Ah, stick right into that urinal. <laughs> <laughs> was, I mean, a lot of them had pooled urine in them. Yeah, most of them. I think, I think. They're not dry. I, I'm <laughs> hoping that I flushed it before I did. I don't think you did. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm they not s- saying there's no guarantee that I did. I just remember how satisfying it was, especially when a kid came in and I chucked it right at his head and it hit the wall right by his head and it went, boom! What would, they, what would they say? Like, what the fuck is wrong well, with Well, because, like, then, like, urinal, like, um, water and, like, everything, <laughs> it would, like, explode. So, like... And you're like, ha-ha, now the wall is just, like, my hand full of urinal cake and piss. <laughs> you're like, it didn't hit your head. It, it's all over me. I, this is the worst prank ever. It was funny as fuck. It would explode so prolifically. Uh, I feel like the urinal cake was invented so that janitors can get revenge on kids. And then Make people so would come enticing. in and I, I would go, grenade! And I'd throw it in the middle of the floor while everyone was pissing. And then it would just go, Psh, and did it would they shatter. laugh or did they just ignore Yeah, you? they'd laugh. <laughs> they wouldn't ignore me. Why did no one rat you out? They didn't. Wow. They're like, all right, Andrew, now you've like, had your fun. Now we have our fun. Get the, get the clothespins out. Put them on his zip. <laughs> no, they're like, <laughs> they're, like a war time. they're like, no one tell on him because it's funny that this guy keeps touching piss over and over again. It really is. <laughs> you think that's what they were doing? No, I think they thought it was cool. Though. They have a meeting. <laughs> keep laughing at him. He'll keep touching them. The kids aren't that sophisticated. Like, if this we, second grade. If we keep laughing, maybe he'll put one in his mouth and go, look, I'll bite down on it. I pr- They could have gotten me God, to do man, it. Man, I wish I would have gone to school with you. Why? I we would have had so much fun because <laughs> I would have been like, "Bite the cake, Andrew." You're like, really? there was a kid in first grade who was like you, who would get me to do bad things. Held, <laughs> He's like, what, my dick what, he been held what back. Was, what was his name? I forget what his Ryan name was. Uh, Bo Spiel. I don't remember. They, what his did name they was. have to separate you two? Uh, yeah, because he was a bad influence. Like, He'd been held back a grade for like behavior. He's 12 years old in first grade. we got to keep him away from Andy. What's well, he doing now? He's probably the CEO of a company. I was doing a... He's like, he runs a, a chain of hotels. Yeah. Oh. Uh, do you know? Hotel Billy, six. Billy Madison reference. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Andrew, got to touch those urinal cakes. I was doing... Uh, I was breakdancing in front of the class in the middle of a test one time. Is it true that he this kid doesn't exist? And it no, was just, he did it was exist. You? His name was Adam. I remember it now. It was, a, it was just an imaginary friend that said, Adam, that's bad. I shouldn't do that. Well, there like, was, who the fuck are you talking to? He was about? crazy. Like, there was a lady at Storytime who came to talk to us. He goes, hey... I'm going to pull my penis and balls out the entire time she's telling us the story. See if she noticed. He's like, and then you suck them when they come out. <laughs> but he did that too when, like, uh, I was breakdancing. He, r- like, <laughs> rapidly, like, grabbed some construction paper and ripped it up and, like, did you formed say it. Adam into- because he said Billy Madison. No. And it was Adam really, Sandler. Who it played really Billy was Adam. It triggered the memory. Adam. It triggered the memory. Madison. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He's real. Bruce <laughs> says Adam DeWitt. Uh, no. He said this to me. He grabbed. Back to school, back to school. <laughs> was, grabbed, what, was it his nickname, Peepa? <laughs> no, he grabbed Adam he, Peepa to win. <laughs> guys, this is New Leaf Andy. Uh, but he it's grabbed, his old Leaf Andy because we're talking about a fucking story for 20 I mean, minutes about you. with me so much. <laughs> so go back to the mirror. So she right. said everyone, the mirror, the, had, did, did the girl come back the same? Maybe she did get pulled through there. 
came she back. She didn't get pulled to the mirror universe. So then my kid was the like. The mirror universe? You act, <laughs> you go, this is absurd. The mirror universe. She should have said, guys, it's so crazy in there. That's a big That would have been awesome. There's a lake. There's like. It's like Stranger Things. Because they're all into Stranger Things, too. Eleven oh. was in there. And I met her. She's my friend. And then She's what, awesome. Dude. You guys all need to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, once you come back to the other side, it makes you have to take a huge shit. So that's why they found me in the <laughs> bathroom stall. Yeah, I filled up on the other side mirror food. Yeah, he's like, you know, parallel dimension through mirrors gives you diarrhea. <laughs> she's like, I think because I'm new there, the food there doesn't uh, really upset my stomach. It's opposite it's food huge. shit. It's like everything. It's like, <laughs> it's not. Macaroni is actually just beef. Yeah, it's just beef in a pot. <laughs> you guys would love it. <laughs> <laughs> that would go one of two ways. They would either dismiss that lady and or never talk to her again, or they would all go in there and be like, oh, it's awesome. I was in there, I too. Was, I, went, <laughs> I went in my sleep, actually. Oh, you should have seen it. Every stall is filled with people having diarrhea. <laughs> they're I like, got diarrhea, too. They're like, we got to take the toilet out. There's a new shit challenge so, on TikTok once, coming. Once they took the mirrors out, then everyone was going nuts about it really being Bloody Mary because no one had realized that this girl was just taking a dump and like it was fine. She By the way, best, I, best cover ever. I, when I I got talk, caught taking the 30 minute dump in first grade, which ruined me from ever taking a dump in school. I wish that I had come up with that. I came to a parallel dimension that came back and it gave me diarrhea. <laughs> I, that, that chick, she lucked out. Yeah. She'll be able to take dumps now for the rest of her life anywhere she wants. That's true. So, um, when maybe she been, was menstruating. That's why the Bloody Mary reference. Maybe. A little I don't young. Think so, though. The milk, the so. hormones. Um, <laughs> too much milk. Can I get extra hormones in my milk? <laughs> Please, because I want to see Bloody Mary. I'm trying to later. get tits when I'm five. Does the school ha- who's the school administrator whose job it is to keep an eye on TikTok trends? To, to stay ahead honestly, of the curve. Oh, like honestly, a TikTok I, department? I, yeah, think it's it's like, a, I think it's a vice principal. They have like a, they have a meteor, they have like a wall. He's like, we got a front because coming in. Because the middle schools, yeah. they got hit hard with the steal the sink thing. They're like, the kids were just ripping the sinks off of the walls. Yeah, they Where should. were they taking them home? They should not. <laughs> just because we did it doesn't mean they should I know, but it. also it's not new. It, TikTok, whatever. We were breaking shit. Fucking bathrooms. Everyone was. Uh, yeah. The, are they videoing it though? Because that's how you get caught. I don't know. I think so, yeah. So they're like, hey, look at this. It would have fucking fuck up the yeah, bathroom. Yeah. I think that is what they Then they're do. like, uh, could I see you in the office? I check your TikTok account. And These yeah. kids are stupid. And no, China's they're... like, we got to know who the idiots in America no, are. No, China is telling them to do this. Yes, they are. They're trying to s- so social unrest. They're doing a great job. Have you ever seen? They'll have some, because they'll get some. They'll, they'll get, get Logan Paul to do it. They'll kidnap <laughs> some they have a million dollars. white kid. They have a bunch of like kids, white kids that they raised in China just to do TikTok trends in a big studio. Yeah, that's true. And so they'll have them they're like, these kids are doing it. And then they'll say it got a billion views and then everyone will it's see It's actually it. the Peloton studio where they do all the Peloton workouts. Is workout. Peloton Chinese? No, I don't know. Company. They probably would. Pel- be like, now we're watching you all work out. We know your working out yeah. habits. <laughs> we, we can hear you talking about your secret military codes. I do. <laughs> I do believe that like any sort of destructive trend that in China they just beef it up to a billion views so that everyone goes this yes. is it yeah I do so they, they artificially will inflate totally destroy our society and it's working it is and it's working yeah do you so, see the space landing on TikTok no yeah that's what they do now in school is it true no what's <laughs> a space landing we got out of school <laughs> like a moon landing we like, all watched uh, OJ Simpson uh, we watched TikTok? the verdict on TikTok <laughs> in school do you know what would be a great TikTok a moon landing where you take your pants off and you sit on someone's face while they're Sleeping. I'd call it moon landing. Bear- cha- <laughs> yeah, look at the new moon landing. Moon landing challenge. The moon landing challenge. And then you throw a urinal cake on their face. Yeah. The urinal cake. <laughs> to wake them up. Moon landing up. challenge. <laughs> if they're not fully awake after your ass Dude, goes on You guys face. don't understand how much it skidded across even carpet. How about this? It how about, so I heard it would go out, out of the school into another building. It was across so the street. crazy. Some people say that those, those cakes are still going. I they're wish. still moving. I wish they were. Listen, what if you do the urinal cake moon landing? You put a urinal cake between your cheeks and then Oof. sit on someone's face. You're gonna burn your fucking cheeks because I but burned burn my hand. Too. It's a Johnny I Cash. I had little blisters on my it's hand. It's a Johnny Cash Ring of Fire challenge. I was doing it so much, my hand was red. Have you done the uh, nacho cheese challenge? You have to drink six gallons of it. I can't do that now, but in I would have done it. I would have done it before I went <laughs> vegan, just to rub it in this guy's fake face. His fucking what? salt and pepper, nice cuts of meat bullshit that he does. 
Guys, why do, why do I care what you <laughs> you go? Ah, oh, this will get old deal. Dude, and if I, I drank two gallons of nacho cheese, you'd be so mad. Why would I care? Wash it down with filet. Very expensive. Why would I care? Yeah. If I took a, a, a fucking $45 <laughs> filet. I would laugh. Seventy-five dollar filet and soaked it in two gallons. Dude, I would laugh. No, I marinate it. Because it, it co- I marinate it raw. I marinate it. But in all the it does is cost cheese. you seventy-five dollars. I would die laughing because I would go. I would act <laughs> mad and, and I would and go then home. a bunch of people in the grocery store would beat the fuck out. <laughs> you know, no, but you would waste seventy-five dollars. I go. That's hilarious. This it, idiot to try to get me. Here's the challenge. You I get, get you so good. You get an old. <laughs> You get an old, like a businessman's old suitcase that yeah. they don't really have anymore. You go bring it into 7-Eleven, you fill it with cheese, put it up on the counter, you pay for it. Then you go home and you got to put eat a meal out of it. Oh, and it's just leaking out, yeah. too? Uh-huh. It's not, it's not <laughs> water so type. crazy. What if you brought one of those into a car dealership and then you're like, I'm ready to buy a car today. You hold up a suitcase and you say, but first I got to eat lunch. You open it up. It's all mac and no, cheese. No, but there's tons of money. You have all the money in there, but it's in just one covered. one section and the covered. other section is mac it's and cheese. covered in cheese. I go, oh, I packed my lunch in this. You're like, you want this cheese, this cheddar? What if you go, what if you get, what if you go to every 7-Eleven and buy all the hot dogs? Okay. Then you go to like a Starbucks, order a coffee, then you open up the briefcase and you just start doing like... Trying to beat the world record by eating like oh at a table at a table that's a great idea for a TikTok challenge guys this guy comes this is great and you have a guy that's a great idea you have a guy there coffee shop hot dog TikTok challenge a guy there in a suit who's like has a clipboard and like ready (laughs) go it's it's the Starbucks Nathan's hot dog challenge dude it's a great Nathan for you's hot dog you have to have a briefcase. Yes, filled and then you with have hot a cough. You have three coffees. You <laughs> the chase hot it all. Dog briefcase. You chase it all with Starbucks disgusting burnt coffee. Yeah, or you take it into a Starbucks, or you take it to those workspaces where you have a communal workspace that you can rent for like. Oh, and then you turn it into a literal uh, Guinness Book of World Records challenge. <laughs> While everyone else is around you, just trying now to get that the work done. Workspace. Uh, world record <laughs> challenges would be great. Yes. You're like, yeah. I need to rent this space for an hour because I'm here to eat hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my job. You work on your screenplay. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not fucking with that. Now that would be a Finish good one. your fucking screenplay. And instead of p- using water, you have a big jar of mayonnaise and you dip those dogs oh, in there and you just suck it up. Right you it? just suck it Oh, up. fuck. You get so sick. Could dude. you get in trouble though? What if you what if you were trying to lift weights with your nipples? Like they were pierced? He said, this is my job. Yeah. That's we, the next day record. <laughs> it's Tuesday. The lift weights with your nipples? <laughs> TikTok challenge at the workspace? Yeah. Workspace world record challenges. <laughs> Film Fantastic. it in your cubicle. Go to a, anywhere you work. It, it could even be, yeah, it could be at your real job. Like you don't have to even go to one Dude, it's so good. It's corporate world record uh, challenge. I'm going to start doing them. Like a guy in the elevator skipping rope all day. (laughs) That would be a good one, too. The workspace challenge. Workspace. The world record challenge. We work world world record challenge. At your job, break a world record. Yeah. Or at Starbucks. Put in a pull-up bar. Go for the pull-up bar. The pull-up challenge. Oh, that would be great. In the the doorway, (laughs) people are like, uh, People are going around you. You're like, go around. Welcome to you do another one. You're like, well, welcome to the fart challenge. I can see how many farts I can do in one minute. <laughs> Lay it down on your back. Yeah. And then you have another guy going, I'm doing the world record. How many farts can I smell in an hour? <laughs> Two birds with one stone. <laughs> Two records. I thought this whole WeWork thing was about efficiency, yeah. you know, and community. <laughs> That's what we're doing. So anyway, I, we're going to get back to this business idea because it's fantastic. But um, so I like was, how this is a business idea now. <laughs> we'll franchise you a world record. Dude, we should start selling world record franchises. World record idea franchises? Yes. Yes. For $20. Or world record certificates. For $20 a month, we'll send you a new, a world record, new world record to break every week. Yeah. idea, Fresh ideas. And Do cer- it in the workplace. And bootleg certificates that you can claim your world record. No, these oh, are real oh, c- certificates wait, from And us. booty leg. <laughs> booty leg certificates. How about we start our own new Guinness Book of World Records? That's what Fuck I'm saying. Them. I'm saying. We, yeah, we just start For far our own... too long, the corruption of the Guinness Book yeah. monopoly has ruined world records. It's nepotism. They're giving them to their relatives. Cap- just trying Capitalism to sell... is all about competition. Well, they're just trying to sell tickets to their fucking uh, their <laughs> museum. museum. Never, they, they don't care about the world record. I've never heard anymore. of any other world record organization. There's not, I don't think there's even another. There needs to be a new one. 
Yeah, it's far too long if we it's lived under the... It's far too long. Do they go to... Far too long we've lived, lived under the tyranny of Guinness Book. Do they go to, like, third world country? Are they going all over the world? Or no. Is it just, it's only America and, like, Canada England, and Britain. first Ireland. world. Only where they speak... Oh, no, occasionally Germany. Germany holds a few of those. Yeah, most Jews killed easily. But first world country. <laughs> Jews killed. That would, see, that's what we would have. <laughs> you award them that? Dude, Officially? They, world record. They don't do sexual ones. They don't do weird ones. But right there. Germany, most Jews killed. That is a world record. Try to beat it. Most nuts licked. What's that? What country is that? Yeah, who's, who's got who's that, that one? It's Botswana. Really? Yeah. Oh, Lick, that's Lickswana. You would have think that Botswana would have been butts licked. No, it's Not balls. nuts. <laughs> it's balls. Listen, I think that we start a whole... No record is off limits because Guinness will only do certain things. Most murders. Most dogs fucked Ari Shafir. Yeah. Do you think that's true? <laughs> I don't he's know. Going, he's going for is it. Is he going for the record? He's, that's so disgusting. He's in the midst I of it. He did a dog I gang. Fucking, he did a dog gang. What's bang. so funny about that? I hate it. I hate the dog fucking stuff. He, he hates urinal cake play. That's not I like true. how he you got on your. It. I like how you got on your soapbox and goes, guys. I hate dog fucking. <laughs> you piece of shit. He goes, I. I want to make a proclamation. He's mad. I don't want to ruffle some feathers. <laughs> He's mad. He's mad that you're saying that you're different from us because you hate dog. I fucking. hate the jokes about dog fucking. I can't stand. It. <laughs> Is this just you it's attacking O'Neill? No, it's just jokes. No. Or you actually hate the dog fucking? I hate you know? dog fucking. Obviously, <laughs> I, guess, but I, I, hate, I don't. I, I'm glad you put obviously in there. South Carolina doesn't their license plate say the dog fucking? Oh look state? at it. it's a le- It's legal in Texas. Oh, I'm, dog mo- I'm moving. Yeah. No Aaron, wonder Aaron just stormed out. He doesn't want to hear this anti he has a dog. dog fucking rhetoric. He has a dog that loves to fuck. No, Human. that's disgusting as fuck, dude. <laughs> I don't even like the jokes about it. I hate it, man. There's a place in Glendale that will train your dog to fuck humans. <laughs> how, how to train your dog to fuck you? It's a new Pixar movie, a DreamWorks that's movie. That's a new TikTok <laughs> challenge. <laughs> how to train your dog to fuck you. <laughs> China would jump right on that TikTok challenge, too. They're like, beef it up. Dog Give fucking, it the hits. Dog fucking confessions. <laughs> who, is, who in China, like, I want to see who watches the TikTok, like, whose job it is to monitor American TikTok. Oh, uh, his, it, his, his, oddly enough, his name is TikTok. They're like Addison Ray, <laughs> Huge star. His name is Juan TikTok. <laughs> Oh, Juan, Juan the TikTok? Yeah. The yeah. rapper? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so please no more jokes about the dogs and the sex. I'm gonna now, you've just opened it. I think you really secretly love them because you just opened your world up to do not secretly a love them. nonstop onslaught. I'm telling you right now, dog I hate that shit. I'm going to send a dog Stop. a dog fucker to your door and a broken mirror you that says <laughs> Bloody Mary. <laughs> I'm going to hit both of you. So, <sighs> so she got so scared by that shit. So what happened? She, so, did she want the, you to remove the, your mirrors? The girl in the stall got so scared by no, the shit? No, my daughter got so scared by <laughs> the, the shit bl- left the in bloody, the toilet? No, by the Bloody Mary ghost action. You so, know, so this is like, so marriage. all day at school, this is like building yeah, so up, this building been going up. on. And then, so for the past like, couple of now weeks, they're taking the mirrors for the past couple of weeks. She's been like, can you guys hang out closer to the bathroom? I'll take my bath. And then oh. we were like, Hey, you need to take a bath by yourself. And then she was screaming. No, well, you, you wish, can't do that. To can me. You cover, did you cover up the mirrors? What? Did you cover up the mirrors for her with like a towel? No, no. We just told her Bloody Mary isn't real. Why don't you whisper? But she refused. But and, and whisper I mean, to the door. Bloody I mean refuse. That's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the light real quick and go, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. It, took, <laughs> it took us an it's hour. It's got me. She's got me. Help it me. took us an hour to get her in the bathtub. She won't take baths. She won't take baths. Why don't you just break baths? all your mirrors? Why don't you, why don't you have to take a <laughs> shower? <laughs> That's much scarier to look why at. Why don't you have to take a shower then? We do sometimes. Hose her you down know? outside. Dude. Uh, by the way, unbelievable chain of events that actually made this happen. They're talking about Bloody Mary. Mirror's gone next day. I would have lost my fucking mind. I know. Mind. We get I was like, I get it. I get why you're so scared I, about I, this. Will you go in the bathroom right now and turn off the light and say Bloody Fuck Mary? Fuck no, I won't do what? it. Come, you're a grown man. <laughs> we can get but will you do it? Because you would get scared too, buddy. I asked you first. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, would you do it? Sure. Holy shit. Aaron you know, you does should, it all the you time. You know you should tell her? You should say, you know, this Bloody Mary's fucking sucks. There's nothing. She's <laughs> she a candy shit. man. Candy man on the other hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that and, and you got to keep your eyes peeled for Slender Man. Oh, and the clown from It. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Mary's got some serious longevity. Yeah, definitely. It's been going on for a long time. Good yeah. fucking Who Queen Elizabeth's sister. <laughs> What's the... Uh, 
I think Bushman. Invented. What's the history of Bloody they Mary? They think it's Qu- Bushman. I think it's he Queen. Brought it from Liberia. Isn't it Queen Elizabeth's sister? My daughter knows the whole history of it. Oh, she's looked it up. She's yeah. too. She's too into it. Yeah, I think that's, that's the problem. Why. I think it goes back even farther. They say like Native Americans, uh, and in the Bible they talk about. Before oh, Christ, yeah, that's true. I forget. There is Bloody Mary. <laughs> yeah, now turn in your Bibles to Bloody Mary, eleven fifty two. <laughs> Wasn't it Bloody Mary? <laughs> Bloody Mary, didn't she have the Immaculate Conception? Yeah, she did. She had uh, Immaculate the, Degeneration when, she, when he was born. <laughs> she had Immaculate <laughs> Degeneration. <laughs> yeah. So how? What? Where is she at now? Is she okay? Well, so we made her just take a bath by herself. She make, had to make her a tinfoil hat and say this will block it, dude. No. See, this is why I can't have kids because I would have such trouble not like fucking around. I'd be like, you have to take a bath, take a bath, and then I'd have like a secret recording going. Come to the. Mirror. There's no way we could do that. I'd go like this. Look in the mirror. Don't, no, there's no way. You're gonna like what you see, Bloody Mary. The only problem is you're just creating <laughs> you a problem. You're just creating a problem for yourself. Yeah, yeah. I know. My wife yeah. would go, my wife would destroy me. She'd be like, "You fucking, I, I well, can't because resist." It, because it ruined. Like, listen, your kids being able to get their own bath is like uh, you don't want to regress from that. Yeah, you know, because that's a pain in the butt. You know. Yeah. So they like, had to put her back into a tub in the sink. Yeah, and start washing her in the sink again. I tried <laughs> her to do legs that. are hanging out. In second grade, I got naked in my sink at home. My parents flipped out. Your mom's Fuck like, I'm it. doing the dishes over here. You're being a bullshit. <laughs> Would you have a barn sink? <laughs> no, I, we had a pretty big sink. I got my butt. <laughs> Look in at it. this guy. Look at the buddy on this guy. Some tells me you yeah, had a goes, duty butt. Not gonna lie to you. Probably. We have a. Oh. That was the problem. <laughs> we have a big old sink. She Did you like, have a two? You po- can't put your bottom in the sink. You're Did you have a divided grade. sink? Did you have a divided sink or one? We hole? had a divided sink. So you were just in one half of it. Yeah, I was in one half. How'd of you it. climb? Can you imagine there? walking coming in? Just imagine now. What second grade? What uh, what grade your daughter in? In third grade. So I was okay, seven so, years old. So you imagine you see you, <laughs> you come home and you're naked in a fucking divided sink and you're one half of it. <laughs> Dude, you're. I would. No wonder. Your fucking parents are just like. I was trying to shower myself with the fucking sprayer. You too. put you put your stink in the sink. I did. Where the dishes are. This is like a Tim Robinson sketch. <laughs> he goes into a fucking. Well, sink. I just had really missed doing it, and my parents were out in the yard, and I was like, I was gonna give myself a bath. Ah, sink. finally, Fuck they're it. they're not gonna. With stop dish my, wa- with dishwater, by the way. Stop my dish habit. Soap. Were they winding down out there? It was wind down time. It was not wind down time. <laughs> I think we're pig- <laughs> were they out there contemplating whether they should just burn the house down with you inside it? You always think people want to kill me. They never do. I just do things that are crazy. Not crazy. Bloody just mentally ill. Bloody not Andy. Mentally ill. You're bloody Andy. It's not mentally ill to miss being bathed in the sink and think I can do it again. By you just by gave mommy. Me the, the definition <laughs> of mentally ill. That's not the it's definition. It's not mentally ill to be wanted to be. Why don't we buy you a huge adult size sink and you can yeah. bathe in it now? That, that would rule. rule. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why would that it. rule? It's so I just love it. the idea of bathing in a in an open communal space, a public space. That's not a public space. That's a sink, kitchen sink. Yeah, but people have to come in this kitchen sink. It's oh, you like, hey, oh, you yeah. just want to talk to people yeah. while you bathe. Yes, I love it. It's like, that. I want to bathe in the sink and I want to live in the refrigerator. Why don't you just bathe in a mall fountain? There's so many people. I would love to get in a mall fountain. Do it. Why We're don't stopping you. Do it? you. I can't. Now, when you I was a kid, the new leaf. it would fucking destroy me that I couldn't get in the fucking mall fountain. You'd pick up all those all the coins. Yeah, every kid wanted to get in the mall fountain. But I would take the money out of the fountain. I would sometimes get in it. People, you know how many wishes Try people didn't get granted because I took all their money and spent it on candy? Is that these, true? These are yeah. their wishes. Their dreams. <laughs> They're not coming true. Uh, so what happened now? She she will... Sh- uh, so she got over it, but she mirror? was she was really upset about it to the point where like I had to threaten to take away her Nintendo Switch. I like how that she's like, like, no, no, I'll, I'll deal with, I'll deal with Bloody Mary. And she's like, no, that's Bloody Mary. <laughs> that was what it took. She's, she's like, like, Bloody Mary's coming like, through you. She <laughs> seems scared like that she was going to be murdered by Bloody Mary. The only thing scary was like, that's it. I'm taking away your switch forever. And, and she goes, she like, Bloody Mary ain't shit, bitch. <laughs> she's like, I'll go bathe right now. She, she, she had to psych herself I'll, up. I'll punch that bitch in the face. We listened to her psyching herself up in the, and we were trying not to laugh because she was like, okay, I can do it. <laughs> 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 And then she goes yeah. in by herself and did, did you it. show her the trailer for Skinema Rink right after that? Hell no! <laughs> I can't even watch that shit, dude. Come upstairs. Fuck that. You're gonna die. Did they say that in Skinema Rink? No, but I would say that. You made it real. less scary, by the way. That's less scary than what happened. In this house. 
That's scary to me, man. That thing. Nintendo Switches are taken. <laughs> Dude, that was the big thing. <laughs> that is crazy that she's like, I'll risk life and death. For the Nintendo Switch? Yeah. yeah. That might be a bigger problem. That's more concerning than Bloody Mary. It that, gives her courage. Yeah, it does, man. Motivation. 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 It's a real motivation. Wow. <laughs> it is is that how you say it in your house? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it, it, the sink bath I'm lacking motivation right now. You don't think being bathed in the sink rules? All right, let's no. not. I'm not even going down this road. What do you mean? What, what does that mean? You uh, get so upset. Here's the with problem. These here's what happens. This is a perpetual cycle. You give us something that's completely batshit crazy. You're, we've left with nothing but to make fun of you. Then you feel bad. Then you go online afterwards, and I, then people reinforce you. Go, Andrew, you're the best. No one. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> then your wife gets mad at you. I don't want to make fun of you. I don't you leave go. Us no I choice. wouldn't go. I'm not gonna go on Twitter. After this, and go. Don't you guys think that being made to the sink would rule? And one going, guy uh, says it. You're like, everyone's saying it. Everyone loves it. You guys don't get much. You say everybody when people back you up one time too, man. I, I had don't two say rainbow that. parachuters. I don't say that. But he did say it, everybody. Fucking it. By the way, he only said one guy. You guys he had it. two. I don't know. Yes. Are you gonna go do Bloody Mary? Bloody oh, Mary. Oh, Aaron, hey, no, no, will you do it? Don't do it. it. Bloody Mary. <laughs> Aaron's going to the bathroom. It's so crazy. Every time he leaves, for everyone just getting work done, you hear us be like, yeah, take a shit. Yeah, so you can do Bloody and Mary. Like, this new show is really harassing Aaron. Do you think when he goes home, he's like gets kind of mad when he watches TV with his wife and he gets up and he's like, what, no cheering for me to go to the bathroom? We like, had the a, guys do it. Like, asked me if I just jerked off in there. We had a female <laughs> fan alert. Aaron said, Aaron, Aaron connection. She said, Aaron, Aaron. <laughs> Summon the Wendigo from the mirror, and it was a psychic attack. And shortly after, the guy left. Oh, what if he comes back? He's got like blood on him, and he goes, I, I, "Like, I was sitting there taking a dump, oh. and I was going to leave it without <laughs> flushing it, and then all of a sudden the lights went off, and then something cut me." But it, but he did. Yeah, what if? But dude? it's an elaborate, <laughs> it's an elaborate prank. What, what if? Man? Maybe that's why he doesn't flush because he's so scared he of the mirror. He to get out of there real quick. Yeah, he's like, I don't have time to flush. He may come back and say, "I must kill." The Queen. <laughs> <laughs> like O.J. Simpson? Yeah, exactly. I used to be scared of ghoulies biting my nuts off. So ghoulies? It. It, wasn't fr- it wasn't O.J. Simpson. It was, uh, what's his name? Oh, it was Reggie Jackson? Yeah. He bit my nuts off? No, he was going to kill <laughs> the Queen. <laughs> it's Enrique Palazzo. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> ghoulies. Yeah, ghoulies was tough. They come out of the toilet. Yeah, dude. That, that ruined me scared. for a long time. Dude, yeah, dude. Yeah. A long time. They, that's a movie that should never have been. I, they're just snakes in Thailand. I took, yeah, those I, I have trouble anytime that there is an article about something biting something out of the toilet. I took a little toilet. plastic mirror, a hand mirror from my sister's room, and I watched myself taking a dump to make sure there were no ghoulies in the and toilet. And you go, this is the hottest shit I've ever done. I'm going to keep doing this from now on. <laughs> That's how you fell in love with the asshole. That's and not then, how I fell in love with it. And then you did cocaine on Have you ever mirror. seen this guy take a dump? He has basically like a video. When have you seen me take a dump? <laughs> on your uh, uh, OnlyFans. When are we hanging out? You watched me take a Dude, dump. This guy has like a video village. He's got 4K cameras in the toilet. <laughs> now that is true. He's got a <laughs> Monitor in front of him. He's got headphones on. He's like, I like that. Take. Mirror yeah. set up that he can see all different angles. You know me too well, brother. <laughs> mirror on the toilet. Mirror. You have a mirrored toilet. Bowl. Mirror. Mirrors. Mirror on the toilet. <laughs> mirrors in the toilet. Pink champagne on ice. <laughs> Stink champagne on ice. Um, Are the mirrors back in your daughter's school? No, no, they're out for a while. Just uh, what? The TikTok. For they have to ride out this TikTok. Oh you my look? god. What do you have something in your teeth? You have to rely on your Can you friends. bring in a compact mirror? I'm sure you can, yeah. And shine it in the teacher's eyes. That's crazy, eyes. though. Over what is this? Over here, that's what I would do. <laughs> is this a fucking rest stop in the middle of Arizona where they have just a metal plate? Dude, that's how American you, children you, behave in bathrooms, though. Yeah, but this is how they've always behaved. We didn't take our mirrors out. They didn't take our sinks out. They took all the stall doors off of our stall. Yeah, but we, used to pl- we used to plug up all the toilets and let them overflow. Nobody took the toilets away. Why don't they give them those shitty- they can't take the toilets Why don't they away? give them the shitty fake mirrors that like, aren't real glass that you that's can barely saying. see it? The metal ones yeah. on the truck stuff. Oh, that's what they should do. Yeah, just, you, but you, then people want to fuck around? Them. What, fuck around with us? People, people, you're going to find out, bitch. Take the, take the stalls off, the stall doors off the toilets. You guys want to act like inmates? They'd be inmates. They welcome to prison. <laughs> Do the boys still have no doors? Or they, is that now a thing where they're... Uh, I don't know. I, oh, I We oh, never had doors oh. in any of that. Are you, are you okay? You look traumatized. I oh, use the bathroom Did you get scared machine. for real by that Bloody Mary thing? 
The only Bloody Mary I saw was in the toilet. Ma, 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 ma. Oh, shit. What? I really <laughs> saw a ghost Hello. in the toilet. <laughs> the duty toilet monster. Yeah, I wouldn't want the ghost to come out of the toilet. I'd rather Harry have Potter at the uh, toilet monster. That girl. Yeah, and she would hit on the boys, which is yeah. crazy. Hello. Wait, Moaning while their ding- dinguses were dangling in the toilet, it yeah, would come up. I've never come Harry up Potter. out of the toilet and talk. To I don't know anything about Harry Potter. Yeah, that, is that you think that is influencing this fear? You that think? was crazy to me. Also, in the books, she gets in the bath in the jacuzzi with uh, who's Harry eating? Potter. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Who? I heard you're looking at three guys without <laughs> coke cans in her hands. Well, you hear a coke can it's, open. It's the uh, Bloody Mary no, I, sound. Hear coke can and I hear a snack. We hit up the uh, the bathroom vending machine. <laughs> Did you find so that good. in the bathroom? Because I left an open uh, nutter butter in the bathroom just in case somebody was hungry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, I loved oh. it. Right by the hand sanitizer, I like to leave a bunch of powdered donuts just out of the package. I leave it's a, a nice thing. I leave a Whopper with the paper open. Oh, God. <laughs> on oh, the, gross. On I'll, the thing. For some reason, I think that's going to give food poisoning quicker than any other food. It's an open <laughs> Whopper on the sink of a bathroom. If you leave, what if you left fries and then you left ketchup <laughs> literally up a, a pile of ketchup on the counter. God damn it. That's the new challenge at work. That's the new TikTok challenge. See who eats it? Bathroom sink fries. Bathroom sink fries is the new challenge. (laughs) Guys, you gotta do it. Who would do that? Disgusting. Put it out to TikTok. You got a connection? Ugh. Yeah, I, got, oh, I have a I have a Chinese guy, Feng Chow. Call Juan TikTok. <laughs> yeah. We already talked about who runs it. Only Chow fans, been. ladies were licking airplane toilets, so I guess anything's that is possible. Crazy. She got COVID from it too. <laughs> she got more than COVID. Yeah, she COVID's the best you can get out of that. <laughs> That chick was I kissed hot. her right after. Dude, that chick was hot. Would you fuck her knowing she licked a toilet seat? Yeah, of course. Uh, but what happened to her pussy if she licked a toilet seat? Then her pussy's... She smears her pussy on the toilet seat. I don't know. Would you fuck a chick that you know was famous for using a frozen turd as a dildo? She's no. One of the that, hottest chicks you've ever that, seen. That, that is a zero. Isn't that Martha Stewart? <laughs> that is a no. Yeah, Martha Stewart's known for using frozen turds as dildos. <laughs> and it's called prison style. <laughs> yeah, we're doing She learned prison. it in prison. I made a prison dildo for my friends for their um, bachelorette yeah. party. That's what I used to have a bit where I would say, <laughs> if you wanted to make anal beads in prison, you use an old shoelace and some tater tots. That's a good. That is a good bit. That's a good bit. O'Neill, do you still do it? Killed the room. You still do it? Uh no. He sold. It I to- will though. No, I'll bring it back, baby. He, he sold, sold, it sold it to Aaron. See if you can work in that um tur- frozen turd. Yeah, that everyone's like, oh, that's funny. Oh, I'm gonna throw up now. <laughs> frozen turd dildo. I hate it when see, you get, Can I just tell you, I hate it when you get disappointed. See, in me. see if you can bring a dog in and call up a woman from the audience uh, to have sex with it in front of the whole crowd. Yeah, that's a good bit. <laughs> 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 that's like a I had a bit that never works about <sighs> fucking a police horse uh, yeah how does it technically go? you're just having sex with a cop love a man in it's uniform it's not bestiality it's just fucking a cop why did it work why did it work I think people don't like horse fucking they get turned off by it maybe it's, they don't uh, like fucking it's cops. like when you hear abortion and a joke people are like, oh you're like you didn't even hear it yeah what did you say? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you said, Bloody Mary. Oh, that is oh. scary. Bloody Mary Poltron, save us. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Mary Poltron, save us. Tell your daughter that's how you fight it off. You say, Poltron, save us three times in the mirror. It reverses the curve. Oh, and then Poltron shows up and she's like, what do you guys want? <laughs> in the mirror. He's like, do you like me? <laughs> <laughs> I know this guy. And I don't think he was that into me. Yeah, you get you, you don't get scared because Poltron tells you stories. He's of guys a fu- <laughs> who may have liked her in college. And she's like, "Oh God, I'd rather have Bloody Mary than this." <laughs> and you're like, "Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, come kill me now! I can't listen to any more Poltron." We tried to, to make her feel better by going Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Be-. We were like, well, "My wife was like, I'll say Beetlejuice three times to prove." But it's then not you real. get Beetlejuice in your house, and she yeah, I get, no, she goes hey. Beetlejuice, and, and my daughter goes, "No, don't do it!" And she goes, seen, no! Has she seen Beetlejuice? Yeah. She's seen some of it. Yeah. Wait, some of it. What, what do you edit it for? No. Well, because he's he's actually pretty lewd. He's actually yeah, a pretty he's, lewd dude. That's what I'm saying. Why would you want? I'd rather have Bloody Mary in my so house. So she's seen it, the beginning of it, and then we turned it off. At, <laughs> and then you just show her the end when he goes to the whorehouse. That's when we turned it off. Oh so we were yeah. Like, we forgot ah, about ah, this ah. part. We forgot about this part. He starts combing his hair. And he's like, yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> let me uh, eat that ass. Hey. He does not say <laughs> let me eat that ass. <laughs> He's got That's the, in the version you have. You dumped it. He's got the spikes sticking out of him. 
yeah, he's a his demon. penis like, right there, and he's like, oh yeah, he's, he's a, a demon, but he started as God. a human. He should have got nominated for an Academy Award for that. I that was honestly some of the best acting his I name, have seen. His name was Michael Beetlejuice. It was. I didn't even know that was Michael Keaton for years. You didn't? As a kid, I didn't know. I knew it was Batman. I didn't know. I was and like, Mr. Mom. I go, I didn't. I know because I love Mr. Mom. I go, this can't be Mr. Mom. I played D&D with Talos and Jaffe from Mr. Mom one time. I was like, <laughs> who the fuck is that? It's the kid who gets his blank. He sucked into the thing. Great. And I was like, dude, that, I was like, I can't this believe goes, You know the household name? <laughs> Talisman Lanky. <laughs> Talisman Laffy he's Taffy. On, he's big on Critical Role with Matt Mercer, who also I used to play D&D Wait, you play with. Wait, <laughs> you played with Alice and Janney? I did. <laughs> That, that reminds now me. That, I would be like, oh, on Saturday night, I walked by a game store randomly. I looked in, jam packed, and I owe you an apology. It was all porn stars playing. Is that true? Yeah, all women. I believe it. It was so hot. Is it, are you lying? <laughs> Dude, you think he walked by a store? And how did he know they were porn stars? I Come walked on. by a store. It was packed. It was just like lonely looking dudes playing with each other with yeah. excited dice. And everyone's, everyone's like, when's the doing it? And I went in and said, look at you, you fucking <laughs> nerds. Is that supposed to make me feel bad? <laughs> Jeff starts kicking the shit You down. only hang out with nerd. other guys. Nerd. You only nerd. hang out with other guys. Yeah, because I Do I can't. call you some fucking loser <laughs> skiing with a bunch of other dudes like I a gay man? I can't hang out with women. We always <laughs> end up having sex oh yeah what the fuck <laughs> i swept all the stuff off all the Unbelievable, boards dude. <laughs> i can you imagine Unbelievable. that ruined the game <laughs> i said hey fucking sweep they beat the fuck out of you <laughs> <laughs> nerds are different now i'd sue them. nerds are different okay listen maybe i want those get are beaten. nerds i guess also, these guys mean? some of them were young they were like some of them were teen i know but about hanging out with a bunch of one losers. guy one guy did have tatted up hands i was like look at this guy Whoa. intimidation on the dice yeah that's true with that intimidation. He's like, I got those in debate club. No, I'm not. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> debate the club. It's a, it's a debate. There are tough, cool this. guys who play Dungeons and Dragons and Warhammer. No, but they're not nerds. I do all kinds of shit that isn't nerd shit. What? What's the point? Doesn't Joe Manganiello play? Yeah, he does. So is Henry Cavill. Why don't you get in their game? So is Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler's the dungeon master. Uh, <laughs> he comes in <laughs> but all leather and bondage. That'd be amazing. <laughs> He's like, oh, wait, you played Dungeons and Dragons? I thought, we were I doing thought, we, I thought you were doing something slightly different. I don't have a problem with Dungeons and Dragons. I would play it. People want us to play it on the show. I like make. I like that t-shirt game. Yeah? Well, then you, you make your own t-shirt, Dungeons and Dragons. t-shirt battles. Dungeons and Dragons is all about making t-shirts. We just got to get a Dungeon Master because I want us to all play it. Aaron's the Dungeon yeah. Master. Aaron. Did you do that? Have you ever Dungeon Master D&D? D- D? I have goes, not, no. Have you, then you can't be one. You no, have to do, do it. He can learn. You have to do it in a softball jersey. That's true. Well, with no pants, like a nightgown. That's I not actually, true. I had a friend ask me once if I played D&D in high school, and I was like, I feel so bad about this. I was like, no, I was an athlete. And I feel so bad about saying it that way. And the guy, so the guy killed what, himself. What sport <laughs> were did. you playing? Oh, I've played volleyball. He played school. softball. Oh, I play, I play volleyball. He goes, I'm sorry, I'm an athlete. I play women's volleyball. He played, they let him on the softball team. <laughs> this guy played volleyball. He goes, I played. Hey, nerd, get the fuck out I played dead or alive beach volleyball. <laughs> I got kicked out of it. I got, well, kicked out as a, I got banned for life from intramural uh, volleyball. For what? Because I was uh, causing problems. I was By yelling at fire, the ref. And firecrackers in the shit. fucking volleyball. <laughs> I, they said I was harassing all the referees too much and causing too much of a disturbance. So they finally are like, you're done forever. You and I would have destroyed a school together because you would have talked me into things. Yeah, of course. I'd you be like, hey, and man. I. I'd be like, hey, here's the second gun for the homecoming queen. Now, pull the trigger. Don't be a dork. I would not pull the trigger. I would not kill anybody. No, you're, you're not killing anybody. He'd be like, there are blanks in there. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> you might say something like that. It's just going to scare her. Uh-oh. It's, I, would told you, I would have dragged you along. <laughs> What's up, man? A Reddit or something like it may be coming back on the Patreon. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I hope so. Andy's slapping that belly. So slap that is. belly. Uh-oh, if you Make slap it, it dance. You slap it one more time, Bloody Mary's coming. Uh, uh, <laughs> take that your pants. Looks like there's Bloody Mary in your pants. Are you for real? I'm not taking my <laughs> pants off. There might be Bloody Mary. You mixed guys in told there. me after the show to not let you talk me into doing something. Yes, stuff like I don't that. think you should be this uh, malleable. He's disappointed in me again. I, I'm not. Yeah, I this still guy was proud you. of me. I still love you, Andrew. For taking my pants off. I got to blow my nose. Uh-oh, his pants uh, are falling uh, off. Uh, Look, here we go. Hey, oh. hey, 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 hey. 